Hello everyone, it's Mrs. D, and in this video we're going to talk about funnels on OutSchool. Thanks for watching! Please hit your like, subscribe, notification button if you're new here, drop me a comment, and share this video with anyone that you think it might be helpful for. Funnels on OutSchool. I remember being a new teacher on OutSchool and I had no idea what that actually meant. Everyone was saying it, create a funnel, create a funnel, and I didn't really get it until I was knee deep into out school, and then I figured it out. So hopefully this video will help you figure it out a little bit sooner than I did. Okay, so funnels are, think of it like this, we are taking a wider group and we're funneling them down and keeping them, right? We put them into like a container, maybe let's say. We're keeping them. How do we do that on out school? So you create one of the ways that you, I used to do it. It's not as effective anymore because we're having a hard time selling out uh, one-time one classes on out school, but you used to be able to create these one-time classes and they were like samples. So you're not giving them away for free. They're just paying, you know, the families are just paying for this one-time class, whatever the price of it is to check you out, right? To see, hey, do I like this teacher? Do I like this curriculum? Is this what we're looking for? And then if it is, then they can um, go into what you already have prepared as a full course, whether it's ongoing or a multi-day course for them to um, enroll into, okay? So they take a one-time class and then they enroll into the full-time class if they like you. That's one of the ways that you can take a funnel. So you might have, you know, a learn a class with four to six learners and two of them were funneling out those ones that aren't good fits or is it, it isn't the right thing for them or whatever and we're keeping those two, right? Okay, so that is one way to create that funnel and we've done that, I've done that um, by creating one-time classes for, we've done it for our grocery store math. So we created one-time classes from all the lessons and we threw those out there on the schedule and people would take those one-time lessons and then we would have an opportunity to say, hey, we have this as an ongoing lesson where you can get 12 lessons at, just by enrolling into this this course, okay? And then we share that link with them or, you know, they come across it themselves. Um, so we've done that for uh, grocery store math and we've also done that for phonics where we've created three phonics lessons and um, put those out there on the schedule. They've uh, The families have tried them and then they want the full course. Um, so that is a, in a very effective way to create a funnel if you're able to sell those one-time classes. It's a little bit difficult right now to sell one-time classes, um, so keep that in mind. The other way that you create the funnel is by catching your students and keeping them long-term. How do we do that? That takes a lot of work, but it's really worth it. Here's what I did on my individual account. On my individual account, we started off with, I had journal writing classes. Those journal writing classes can then go into paragraph writing, formal paragraph writing classes. Now they've got the idea of how to write a paragraph, sort of, kind of, from that journal. Now we're going to refine that and give them all the different tools for writing formal paragraphs. And from there, they go into an essay writing class. And then this year, I split my essay writing class from beginners, which was the course that I did last year, into intermediate. And I just recycled the material that I had for the, um, the beginner course and added more ELA and requirements for the essay into ELA, ELA standards and requirements for the essay into that intermediate essay. So it's the same material with stuff added to it. And I will do the same thing next year for um, those learners to take advanced essay writing with me. And so now I have seen some learners from ve from their very beginning, um, I've got one learner who is started off in journal class, then took the paragraph class, and is now in the essay classes. And they will continue to stay with me um, along the way because their family is happy with the work that's going on and with the progress that the learner is making. Um, so there's that type of funnel too. And those are the funnels that I find to be the most effective. We've done that on our organization as well, where we have a beginner writer sentence, 
beginner writer class where students are learning how to write words and order sentences. Once they're able to do that, they graduate from that class and they go into a beginning sentence writer class where they start to write full sentences. I like the dog. I see the cat. Things like that. Simple sentences. Once they master making simple sentences, they are then ready to move on to our mastering sentence building classes where they are learning adjectives, nouns, verbs, prepositions, and they're creating descriptive longer sentences. When they master that, they're ready to go into beginner paragraph writing, which is going to teach them the parts of the paragraph and to use those descriptive sentences and put them into a paragraph form, you know, focusing on that main idea of the paragraph. After they learn the basics of the paragraph, then they're going to go into the formal paragraph writing, which is a, is a mirror of what I do on my individual account. Um, they're going to learn the formality of paragraph writing. They're going to learn how to put more details in. They're going to learn more about how the different types of conclusions, whatever it is, right? And then we ought, and then we have prepared for them an essay class that they can go into. So we're keeping them from the very beginning of writing all the way to essay writing, okay? So we keep them long term and that's the best thing that we can do. We graduate them through our program. We have that set up for math as well and we continue to build on that. We started off with one-time fun games and grocery store math. Grocery store math was for beginning for beginner um, one first and second graders. Now we have grocery store math three for those third graders. We started off with a, a kindergarten board game and then created a kindergarten curriculum. We now have full curriculum from grade kindergarten all the way to sixth grade and we are now adding pre-algebra classes so that they can go straight into those and we will continue to add little by little. Um, and also what we have done is we've created word problem classes because you know everybody needs extra help with word problems. Um, so we now have those full curriculum classes but then you can also take a word problem class so that you can knock out getting those word problems down as well. We've done that for our um, younger uh, ELA classes as well besides the writing classes we do the phonics course where they start to learn how to read and then we have a kindergarten first grade um, reading ELA course and then that ELA course they're learning to they're practicing their reading skills from that they learned in phonics they're starting to write words and sentences and they are presenting that work to the, get that speaking part of the ELA in there um, and then they go on to second grade reading and so we've, we're in the beginning stages of that particular one we're going to have to build on that into third grade ELA and fourth grade ELA and so, so on but we you know this helps us to keep those learners those families that we connect with that appreciate our work who you know want to stay with us long term can now stay with us for years almost you know for years they can stay with us through the math curriculum they can stay with us through the writing curriculum they can stay with us through the ELA program and also the other way that we can use this funnel is oh you're taking this math class and you're taking this ELA class well we have created a full math ELA curriculum for you to enroll in. So you first come in and you do a, an ELA lesson and then right after that you do a math lesson. So now we are looking into creating those types of courses for our learners to be able to get it all at once instead of having to enroll into all these different programs. So anyway, that's about funneling classes. That's how we funnel classes on OutSchool. That's what that means. And it really helps you to find those learners that are your learners and to keep them long term. I hope this was helpful. Like, subscribe, hit your notification button, share this with somebody else. Appreciate all of your time and effort watching this video. Take care.